Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Barbara Bardi and I create content on studying abroad. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process in applying to University of Pisa, which has tons of scholarships. If you haven't yet watched the, the previous video on University of Pisa scholarships, I advise you do so first before you jump on here because there might be some information that you might need to succeed here, which I've already talked about in the previous video. And if you do not know, this is actually the hometown of Galileo Galilee. So without wasting much time, let's start. I'm going to leave this first link in the description box and all you have to do is to follow me through the procedure and if you do so by the end of this video you should be able to have submitted a complete application to University of Pisa you do not need agent what you need is time and DIY so open your computers and follow the procedures with me so this is the first page which talks about the fact that if you haven't yet registered you just have to click on the registration procedure to start so we just have to open this um, tab and let's start so let's start with the application so this is the first step you put in what you choose so here gender you choose um, if you are from any of these countries you click on this but I'm not so I'm not gonna click and um, please like your email Your date of birth, I'm going to choose something. Let me make the year 2000. Oh, let's say 1990. Okay. Your Skype account, because some of the programs will require an interview. So I don't remember my details. I'm going to put something here. Address and um, two, three streets. Okay. Your country of residence, where you stay. the town the postal code if you're an italian resident permit you choose this it is application but we will correct data in this format they will be using all formal steps letters admission procedure in particular make sure to fill the field's name surname birth data citizenship and country of residence exactly as they appear in your id document and to enter a valid email address that you use on a regular basis. So just take a quick look at it before, then you save. So this, in order to confirm your email address, we have sent you a link via email. So they'll send you a link to verify. This portal is the same for if you're applying for a bachelor's program. So if you're interested in their bachelor's program, it's going to be the same procedure. You just have to follow me. What will be different will be the documents, but I will mention it when there is a, a bachelor's um, requirement. So they will send you an email and they will request you to verify the email. So I'm going to put in the link. So the username is your email. Okay, they give me a password, save. So we saved it. So passwords are self created. So now let's access the portal. If the language is in Italian, you could just click on this to change it into English. So this is the first step. Let's look at the qualifications. So we can have a look at the documents they need for the master's degree. And we can have a look at the documents they need for bachelor's degree. Okay, so the once you create an account, we have to choose the core we want to apply for. And remember, I said if it's not available, it means you can't apply for it. 
and just to iterate. It's very important that whichever program you apply for, read the links, read the documents because they vary based on the program you're applying for. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go for um, economics. Yeah, because it's open. I'm going to choose this. So the application procedure for me consists of correctly filling the following pages. The time frame for completing the is as follows. So application open is opened and it's closed for non-EU students applying for a study visa 30 of June. So we could um, continue, we could progress, so we proceed. So type of degree masters. If it's a bachelor's, you just choose bachelor's. The degree obtained, yeah, the degree, name of the degree, I chose economics, right? So I'm gonna choose economics here. The duration of the program, so, ah, no, let's be careful, list of qualifications. So we are going for bachelor's, we are inputting our bachelor's details, so duration of the program for our cumulative um, C GPA the CW and the CG I don't remember which it's okay, but I'm going to put 70 um, institution where the degree was obtained Ghana select institution okay, these are all Italian they should have options for Oh, there we are. I'm coming. So out of the, out of 100. Gonna. Okay. Selecting city. Okay, good. Because this wasn't selected. That was why. So I'm going to look for my institution. So whichever institution you choose, whichever one it is. And uh, your degree transcript, um, so let's just so let's continue your transcript. So we choose the file, okay? We upload your date of graduation. When did I say okay? It wasn't there, but let's say I'm gonna change the year to 2020, okay? So your final grade. Some university, if your degree came with honors, you add it. Like you include that yes, it came with honors. If not, you just take it out. So your degree certificate, your certificate. So this is it. The declaration. So of here, the declaration of value, as you could see, is not compulsory to upload, but it's a document that shows that the degree you had in your home country has the same equivalent in Italy. So if you you had a bachelor's degree in maybe in Ghana, it's a document that shows that the bachelor's degree in Ghana is equivalent to a bachelor's degree in Italy, and normally you could get it from the embassy in your home country, but it's not a necessary document to. We can save it and we can proceed. So once um, we can proceed. So identification documents, you could use your passport or any document you have, you upload it. Knowledge of English certificate. So you upload that too. Detailed program, that is a list of topics and references of the exams of mathematics, statistics. So we are applying for an economic. So we, so for the ones, uh, a program of the exams of mathematics, statistics, microeconomics, and macroeconomics that you have done. For um, this, I'm not sure if you can create it yourself, but your transcript should have those um, details. So what you could can do is to upload your, get your syllabus, also write uh, maybe a note attaching it to your syllabus that, uh, so maybe this program, this exams, I took this exam. So this is something that can help you, but I'm not too sure of this. You could just send them an email to ask, or you can go back to the program website and read. I'm sure they will have more information about that. So if you want to add an additional note, maybe what I explained, you could write it here to explain the document you have attached here. So your curriculum, your CV, 
it leads in Europe. So the Europe Pass CV is very important. So you go to my channel, you type Europe Pass CV, it will pop up here. It will help you to create one to use. So we choose a file. The next document is a motivation letter, which is also good because I have done that work for you to help you write one. You type motivation letter. So this is a step-by-step -step process to write a motivation letter. This you use this to craft one. Then you upload. So you want a scholarship for non-EU students only. So you choose it. You save your data. Then we proceed. So for each row, instead of the total number of ECTS and average mark for each so this for this program, this is the most important subject they need. So your total ECTS is the total credit hours you you have done for this program. So let's say I did 15, maybe average mark 80, mathematics 15, 80. The minimum needed is all on the core document so you have to read all those things to be sure that the number you are given is equivalent to the number they are looking for this is work you have to do yourself unfortunately so i think that is too much i could do 10 so 75 70. i will save this and i'll proceed so the next one is a summary of your applications so you go through i said I'm, i want to study economics so the document i've submitted let's go to proceed your application can still be modified has not yet been sent for evaluation so for final submission you click for final submission so these are the documents you have uploaded if you want to change or delete you can delete here so you can choose a file to upload new files if you want to delete we save them yeah you do that and i remember they said you could apply for like two programs the evaluation so if you want to add another application we can do that i'm obviously not going to do it in yeah, you um, pre enrollment up to two degrees specifying the first choice. So you can let's look at the bachelor's very quickly. Okay, not available, unfortunately. The bachelor's is not available at this point, but I'm sure in the future it would be. So you could um, use that. So this is how you apply to the University of Pisa. It was very easy, no application fee. So finally, I wouldn't want to. I will go back and I will delete my application. I'm going to delete the application. So that's it. So I also have a lot of videos on how to study in Italy. Just go to my channel, you type Italy and use these resources because there are tons of scholarship in Italy. So. I hope this video was useful and to hear from me again.